Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're here with some more non-Oko goodness. Uh, I've been playing decks without Oko in it for like the last week or so. Um, probably going to be banned. It had a pretty dominant warping result at the last Mythic Championship, so hoping this is the last week of Oko and Standard and we can start playing some other strategies. Um, so this here is a Jeskai control looking to leverage off a bunch of the adventure creatures. Um, so control is my favorite archetype to play. Uh, so this is kind of on the axis of the blue-white control list we played, but a little bit more proactive and the ability to have kind of more hard removal. Um, so basically what we're trying to do is with the deck, control the board and then kind of have our answers also be our threats. So what we're trying to do is with like Brazen Borrower, Bone Crusher Giant, and Realm Cloak Giant, have these creatures be able to deal with the opponent's board. And then so bounce stuff, kill stuff, whatever it may be, and then also cast them to be our ways to close out the game. Um, the rest of the deck is pretty much a counterspell board wipe focus control deck. Um, so we do have the Quench, a Dovin's Veto, three Mystical Dispute, and four absorbs main. So really just trying to control their board and then if not respond with one of these spells. Um, I also have a Fey of Wishes as a one of that I want to try out just to see how it works with a sideboard. Um, then we have Justice Strike as removal. Uh, deals with a lot of the creatures right now. A couple Prison Realms if Bonoko gets down. And then we have a Finale to win the game that we can do at instant speed with Teferi. Four Teferis, one Chandra as our main board Planeswalker and then uh, Clarions and Time Wipes. So five uh, Board Wipes main. Uh, one of our Board Wipes doesn't touch our Giants. And then uh, kind of a counter spell Planeswalker control deck. Bunch of Temples, bunch of Duels, one Castle Ardenvale over Vantress. Um, generally, I'd be rather making creatures. Uh, they're good as blockers as well. Um, and I actually we do have the Vantress added that in. So one of each castle uh, pretty much from there. Sideboard wise, uh, so Devout Decree versus Red and Black, Aether Gust, Red and Green. Uh, Brine Board is actually something I want to try out post-board, because we don't really have that many creatures main, um, but just go more tempo-y, so against control decks or even against the Flash Mirrors, just being able to try to sneak one of these in, and then just making it bigger through counter spells. So kind of like how the Simic Flash decks play out. Uh, Disdainful Stroke versus like Nisa decks, big decks, two Vetoes, another Prison Realm, another Clarion. Outlaw's Merriment um, against the Simic decks can't really deal with it that well. Uh, so this is a way to keep uh, creatures coming. And then a Chandra Awakened Inferno. So nothing too crazy that we would normally see in like a Fire's wish list, uh, but just clean ways to deal with the board. Uh, the one thing that I did want to add in, um, destroy enchant. Uh, is probably just a disenchant. Um, in case we run into fires or um, like any of those other deck, uh, wilderness reclamation, I want a way to blow up uh, their enchantment. So I'm going to play one of those in the sideboards and then we can go from there. So that's what I meant to do. Anyways, we will play through ranked. We're currently at diamond tier three. So aiming to go to mythic today, if possible. Uh, we were playing green black adventure earlier in the day. Uh, where'd you go? Four color fires, just got control. And let's play this out. I played this once off stream and best of one against a mono blue Gadwick deck with us trying to play with Verity Circle. Every time they targeted our rum, uh, our uh, our giants to deal two damage to them, so wasn't the best uh, action plan against their deck. So we already are winning by playing first. Um, so I'm gonna keep this. If we can draw an untapped source, we can go quench. Mm, no, I think we need lines. Okay. Untap one time. Sweet. And that would set them back on mana as well. This 
Second Mystical Dispute's actually pretty solid. I'm okay with the line tier, just hitting our line drops. We can Teferi. If they don't play out anything this turn, we can actually Teferi and hold up the Mystical Dispute. Okay, so they can try to jam another Oko. They don't. Uh, here, just gonna bounce the food, keep him off mana. And just pass the turn here. This does give him an opening for Nisa. We do have the Clarion though. Probably should have just held up Absorb, to be honest. Ooh, time wipe. Um, we could Clarion here. It keeps him off some mana. We do need to find a Brazen Borer or a Prison Realm. There you go, Krasis. So we can counter the Krasis at least. Okay, so they're going all in on Krasis, which is nice. It gives us an opening here at the dispute. Um, just pass the turn here. Yeah, that was a misplay on our part. Should have just held up the absorb that turn instead of going to fairy. Would have been in a much better position. So the more they dump into the board, the better this time wipe goes. I'm just going to Chemister's Insight here. Because we do need to ideally answer this Nisa. So we got that. It's actually not a bad follow-up play. So if they have another Nisa, we're in a bit of trouble because they can just float the mana, ultimate. Okay, so they don't. Hmm. They're going to be able to ultimate Nisa here. Can try to catch something on the downside, but they're going to get a lot of mana, and our conditional counter spells won't do that much. They're also going to be able to bring Vela Summer in post board. So just Chandra, shoot down the Nisa. They're pretty much all live draws. If they have Hydrate Crisis, they can refill their hand. They once. Not 
too worried about Fight Wolf. Just gonna do the tempo play here. Send it back. If they're not really gonna put pressure. Okay, Realm Cloak or Bone Crusher is pretty good. Because if we could start putting a clock on him this way. That's fine. Again, that's fine. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can do it for six. They're gonna only be able to sack one of the f to protect this turn. I'm just gonna play out Bone Crusher. Um, I could also just hold it back. Because I can make a token, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could hold, play this, and then make a token and hold up disperse. We'll do that. Uh, yeah. Want to try to get to where we can just do a big finale. turn justice strikes actually really nice we can make a token this turn we can also justice strike the wicked wolf on end step each turn that Chandra takes up is beneficial for us Quite happy if we could win through a Nisa ultimate. These quenches and disputes aren't that good. So we gotta prioritize absorb for any planeswalker threat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this one's playing mass main, so we need to be mindful of that. Ooh, instant speed realm cloak will be nice. Um, just Chandra Emblem. Pass turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can do seven, that's 14. So if they don't commit to the board, we can just do that.
So even with them gaining the life off this food token, yeah. Sweet. Beat them through the emblem. So they're going to get Veil of Summer. Um, so want the other Prison Realm. Want the Merriment. Want the Clarion. Um, do we want to go more tempo? So Faye can come out. Bone Crusher's not as. Uh, I think we want to be able to. It's a little bit more temperamental here. I don't mind the Merriment. Realm Cloak can deal with it. Finale's in here. So probably cut down the Quench. Keep the Disputes in there, keep the Absorbs. And then two cards in, probably Aether Gust. And do we just wanna go full tempo? Teferi's okay, cause we could instant speed a board wipe. Maybe just shave down one and ah, disdainful strokes iffy. Like we want to have counters in the deck, but maybe just cut two to fairies and go two brineborn. Just go more tempoy. Let's try that out. Because they're gonna have veil of summer. So I'd imagine that they protect themselves through like a mass manipulation or at least on the the draw. That's fine, this end. Bone Crusher on two, Absorb on three. They mauled, but they have once. So we'll see if they get the turn two Oko. Not necessarily turn two, which is good for us. Um, do I want Justice Strike? I think we just need to hit our line drops right now. So this could faint like we have Justice Strike. That sucks. We actually probably lost this game. Um, I got a shock here just because of Nisa. But they could just keep making food and we can't really answer it per se. They don't have a play here. I'll take them off mana. It also keeps our life total a little higher. Uh, do I want the dispute? Dispute lets us cheaply deal with a crisis. No, I think we gotta get up to board wipe or dig deeper for an answer. So if they don't commit more to the board, we'll know they'll probably because the if they play Nisa, they'll do it main phase. Wolf down with the food. Okay, they go veil. If we draw land, then I can get Justice Strike. 
but they do the food. Can Clarion. I think I'm dead regardless. Because the problem is, like, they have Veil vale there. And then with the food tokens, Goose becomes, or Wicked Wolf becomes difficult to kill. Ah, uh, passed through there. I meant to Justice Strike. Um, I think we okay. We take the damage. We gotta draw land. We can borrower. No, we're dead. Because if we drew a line there, what I can do is Clarion. They're going to respond by sacking and response hit it. Um, so I'm going to bring in the counters again. Get rid of Brineborn. Uh, might need a cleaner answer. Bring in Chandra. Two cards to cut. Bone Crushers felt pretty bad, to be honest. I might just bring in. Also, Vito's okay. They have enough. Might take out Vito. Bring in another Gust. I'll keep the Brineborns in. Gives us good tempo. Uh, if we go Brineborn, let's go Dispute, Merriman, Chandra. Just go down, Gust. We need to be able to counter. This is a good test for the deck. This is the hardest deck, or the best deck in the format. The fact they have Vela Summer doesn't mean we can easily deal with it. Okay, I can deal with... I can deal with a turn 2 Oko. Uh, we have Lions. I said we have lands, please stop. <laughs> okay, so drawing quench there is pretty good. Um, I think we just go Vantress here, pass the turn. Punch could hit Nisa, so so we'll counter the veil. Okay, so we have another quench. Just gonna be patient this game. Hoping to not use two counters there. This turn we'll go to Fairy, bounce the Gilded Goose, hold up Quench if they don't play out anything.
So I'm going to make it seem like we have uh, Justice Strike up. That's fine. That's not something we fight over. Drawn quite a few lands. Okay, no veil there is good. Mm. We can be done with the lands, please. Some card draw would be nice. counter that. Don't want them to refill their hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can do this for five, which I think we do. We can double block, like they have an opening for Nisa or Hydra Crisis. But I think it's right there, like we need to be aggressive at this point. We ran out of resources. something so we can do four here onto the questing beast which is probably what we have to do one Nisa's still dead so let's do one to the face these having vigilance is good because we can also protect our Chandra attacks here. I can Brineborn and Scry. I want to keep these black back as blockers. Really just don't want to see Questing Beast. Crisis for so let's scry here. Actually, like both of those.
Because that gives us another turn to make Chandra a bit bigger. Try to put some pressure on them. Interesting, they don't block. do this now. It's a bit annoying. I'm gonna surveil or scry this away. I need a bit more action. Do have time wipe, which I do like. No, Veil of Summer because it gives them uh, hex proof, but it doesn't give them indestructible, so you're fine there. Just hope this isn't a mystical dispute. And then we're going to bounce the Brineborn back to our hand. That'll give us a blocker if they have like a Nisa. Then they take three damage here. Even mass manipulation doesn't really do much for them here. They steal. They can gain some life. That's about it. Ah, that is a follow-up. Of course, they have the one card. Quench doesn't do much. So just going to put as much of a clock on them as possible here. They can gain six life. That crisis came in crazy handy. Need more card draw on this deck. So we've won now. So the thing is, they can attack Chandra, but then they die to Brineborn. They also die to the triggers. They got too greedy there. Yeah. Sweet! Took down Simic Food. Man, that was a long one. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let me just give Arena a quick reset. That game went quite a while. I'm actually excited if we can get uh, control back. That was two games in a row where we bet the, uh, whatchamacallit, Veil of Summer. One thing I do want to make in terms of a change to the deck, 
Uh, go down one Bone Crusher Giant and up another Chemister's Insight. I think that would be the best way. This Fay of Wishes is also too cute. May just want probably another Prison Realm, to be honest. Just more clean ways. Because we got the bounce. Because we could bounce like Oko, but it's usually not too much value. Justice Strike was pretty good there. And it's more of the Planeswalkers. We can clean up all the creatures. Let's run it like that. Actually, what we can do... Let's play an Ugin instead. Nah, it's too high on the curve. We have too much uh, top end if we do it that way. Play another. Actually, let's do best of one. You know, let me cancel. Nope. MTG Arena, where the cancel button is merely a sticker that lets you pretend like you're doing something. WD40 rocks. Um. Opponent goes first. We got Epiphany here that we can dispute, but likely won't be a dispute matchup. As much as I th would like that, we need lands. Yeah, we might actually get use out of this dispute. Show me an Oko. Get out of here. So this is likely salty food. So just kill that. Um, I'm gonna shock myself here because we might want to insight. Go from there. We are not going to have any of that. So I do want to keep the plus available in case they get an Oko. Main phase grasp. Kill this now while it's still relevant. Okay, we got quench. Let's put a clock on them. Quench isn't as good at this point of the game. Yeah, so Madelic, I have Outlaw's Merriment in the sideboard. Um, so I'll bring it in against uh, more of like the control matchups or like decks that don't typically have So really just looking for a board wipe here. Can set up the finale. Um, let's attack in first, see what we get. I have a 
bunch of blue, actually we're more blue white based. So this way, depending what they do, I can Brazen Borer and Chemister's Insight. So here we'll just see, perfect, so found the quench. So here I'm gonna bounce this now. It protects us and it lets us set up for next turn to do a big finale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can do it for five, which should be enough to win the game. They go wolf. So this way, basically time walk them. Keeps our bone crusher. Which we're also getting to the part of the game where Arena decided to have a brain fart on me. It crashed out. So we put out a land and then uh, they blocked with the Gilded Goose. They go Casualties of War. That's fine. Oh, actually, they blew up a land. We should have floated. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we screwed that up. We had uh, the game there. Hey Bruna, thanks for stopping by. It's going well. We're jamming. Some control. So in a pinch, I could deafening Clarion. Um, pretty good. We have the borrower that can fly over, so even if they bring down a wolf, Oko could gain them some life. Sounds good. Go, cool. took him down. Um, so in this matchup, it is Sultai. So they'll have Veil of Summer. So we want Realm. We want Merriment. Want the Clarion. Want another Chandra. Bone Crushers are bad in this matchup. Borrowers are fine. Can get rid of a Veto. Playing four Prison Realms. Brineborn as a tempo play, like we did the last game. Actually, this one where on the we need more response. We'll just I'm gonna go down a quench and up a disdainful stroke. Just play it like that. Uh, 
Um, so we got a Clarion. Early Brazen Borrower can catch us up if they drop a turn two Oko. No counters are a little unfortunate. Okay, Scry. Castle's not bad, but I don't think we can keep it. Next turn, I'm just going to go Plains. They go once. Drawing a lot of lines here. So they're probably going to do this to keep Veil vale up with an Oko, is my guess. So if they have the Aether, the Veil. Vale. So we got Chandra to come. I'm just gonna do this now. They don't get the activation, and in case they have another veil. Can blow up some lines too. Uh, of course, stroke came down a turn too late. Uh, I can brazen. Let's just do that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna brazen borrower, and then hold up disdainful stroke. If not, when I time wipe, at least. It gets this bounce back to my hand, so I can hopefully reset Anissa and then take him off some lands. Fortunately, Brazen Borrower can't target Crisis. Okay, we got Prison Realm. But I actually can't afford to take another attack. So let's go. Try to take Oko down a bit. Hopefully, buys us land to be best, but then they're gonna set this up too. Little fabled passage attack in. Oh yeah, we're dead. Oh, you messed that up. That's not what I think you intended to have happen. So let's get rid of Nisa here. I don't want to absorb. Justice strikes fine. Okay, so we gotta dodge a veil. They punted, but they still managed to sneak it out. Okay, so Brineborn's come in on this point. 
Um, disdainful is a little awkward. I think I might want quench more so. Shave down and absorb. No, probably get rid of Teferi. Down a Teferi. Are we actually going to cast Merriment? Maybe. Realm Cloak, Brazen Bar, Mystical Dispute. Thing is, like, we need a way to answer a resolved. Uh, shape down and absorb. Shape down and quench. Thanks, Drunk Akuma, for the follow. Just gonna turn on the light one sec. This is a keep. We got Quench and Borrower. They're going to be patient, I think. I think we need to... They dress. Gonna get them to spend their mana here. Well, that's really shitty. Chandra's the most powerful, but these have a lot of utility. Probably just gonna flash in the brazen borrower if they don't commit to the board. Oh, that's actually really good for us. So they're off the land. I just want to get a clock on them. We just want lines at this point. Clarion's interesting, especially if they draw like Nisa land. But I think we need to dig. We can dodge Nisa for one turn. Okay, Vraska is also really bad. We needed a turn. This is tricky. They can just exchange anyways. Ah, this version's a lot tougher than the uh, the Simic one. Oh, that's if I was them, I would have just swapped Brazen Bar. Jam Nisa. Hey Quantum, how's it going? It's been pretty fun. We've had Simic food already. This is game three. A uh, little hampered on mana. Okay, we got a dispute.
they can switch uh, switch it up on us here. Veil. If it's Veil, we lose. I right, negate. Probably still lost. This shoots this. Too many turns of missing land. That early duress really hurt us. Them hitting two. This is basically a card draw and gain a life every turn. I draw land, then I'm just gonna Chandra here. Just start up ticking. They don't have a clean way to deal with her yet, especially because Oko. Ah, they got the wolf. Okay, so we can set it up for next turn. Because what we can do is on end step, bounce the wolf, play the borrower, and then try to attack into these. They're just gonna use this for a whole bunch of ammo. We'll take the damage here. So even just bouncing the food doesn't work here um, because they can create another food with the Gilded Goose. the quench as well hit some down there just try to get them to overcommit somehow I can minus three wipes this out but doesn't really do much I think we just got to try to, ah, uh, they got crisis. It's not going to help the cause. So they do a big crisis here. I can time wipe. One, two, they gain a lot. I just got to keep trying to grind them. Three, four cards. Drawn eight more cards than us in work control deck. It'll be nice when I can play against the deck and not have to get grinded into the ground. Okay, so Crisis eight. So no attacks. It's really just we're going to try to put these emblems up as much as possible. And then just try to tempo them with brazen in these counter spells. Problem is they're gonna keep gaining life and drawing cards. This O goes at sixteen. Okay, 
So that puts a clock a lot higher. And the problem is Chandra is negative. Lots of damage there. So we need another time wipe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty dead. Um, just past the turn. So my plan here, I'm hoping that they get a little loose. Uh, you are a basic creature elk, so I can bounce this. I may want planar cleansing in the board. to do this. They have another veil. Uh, veil of Summer is such a stupid card. I'm trying to find a Clarion here. Born doesn't quite do it. So I can throw this in front of the forest. I've gone through. Two veils, duress, they've had three once upon a times, and two crises. Just trying to grind them out the best we can. They have a 20 loyalty Oko. Time wipe doesn't do it at this point. They've also drawn 16 more cards than us. Just send them a message. That one was tough. This deck's good. I just can't be Veil of Summer sometimes. It depends if you get under them. I do think we want the Planar Cleansing. Just to have something to deal with the board there. Like the fact they can just one mana. I don't know what's up with Arena now. Our rank at diamond three. That one was tough. Felt like we could have had it. I like the deck. I just think go down to that, play planar, planar cleansing. Do that. It's probably where we want to be. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this one up. I'm gonna go. Top up my coffee, use the bathroom, be back in about 10.15. Uh, so if you want to tune in then, uh, probably 
play probably the cat food deck. This was uh, one for Mythic Championship. So it's basically Cauldron Familiar. So it's like a food deck that's also Cauldron Familiar deck. And then you got Liliana, some Masker Girls on the top end as well. That's kind of catch you up. And then you got a bunch of like the food package, kind of Saltai. does have Oko. We've managed to play no Oko all week, so we can go with that. Um, I'll check a look to see if any of the recent decks are any cool decks that we could play as well. So we'll be back in about 10-15 minutes, so probably around 5-15 Eastern. Uh, see you then if you're able to stop by. If not, thanks for tuning in.